Looking forward to that. All right, thanks, Chelsea. Well, as we head into the weekend, we are talking about some golf, specifically the fifth annual Harper's Hope Golf Scramble. It's going on tomorrow at Eagle Ridge Golf Course in Louisa. And here to talk about the event is Jana and Derek Webb and also Hunter. And we have Harper here, who this is really all about. Thanks so much for joining us today. We appreciate it. Yeah, our Thank pleasure. you. So obviously this is a golf scramble, a little bit of fun involved, but it's also a fundraiser. Tell us more about that. This will be our fifth annual Harper's Hope Golf Scramble. Uh, Harper was diagnosed with Angelman Syndrome at 11 months old. Uh, Angelman Syndrome is a rare neurogenetic disorder. Um, so all the money that we raise, we donate to research, which is the foundation for Angelman Syndrome Therapeutics. Uh, in four years, we've donated $54,000 to research. Just you guys from fundraising Just efforts tournament. here. Just our tournament. That's yeah. incredible. Okay. So. Now this is, as I understand, this is a rare disorder, correct? It is. There's uh, one in 15,000 kids are diagnosed wow. with Angelman syndrome. Okay. There's uh, 500,000 in the world, um, but we've got a good group with the FAST Foundation that's yeah. doing a lot of research. Right. So uh, we're happy to do what we can do mm -hmm. and we'll continue to do as long as we get the support. You said she was 11 months when she was diagnosed with it. Did you notice signs or symptoms or how did you even find out because it is such a rare thing to have? Yeah. Uh, you know, Jonna noticed some things when she was when she was younger that mm -hmm. uh, the pediatrician uh, led us to some tests. Uh, they originally thought maybe she had cerebral palsy. Okay. Um, we went to Cincinnati Children's, had a ton of tests done, and uh, came back. It was Angelman syndrome. Okay. So on the way home from Cincinnati, uh, I remember Jonna making a comment. She said, "We can either give up yeah. or make her the best that she can be," and that's what we're doing. And she's here today with us. We appreciate you coming out here, Harper. This is all about her, and this is really incredible because you guys have seen this tournament sort of grow year after year, too. Talk a little bit about the actual tournament and the turnout here. Yeah, it really goes to the team that we have. We've uh -huh. got an amazing group of support uh, with our family, friends. We've got groups that show up that literally play golf once a year for this tournament. Um, so it's really just a family event. Mm -hmm. And when I mean family, it's all the friends that we got too. These are the pictures right here uh, on the screen of folks in years past. Yeah, right? so we look forward to having this event every year and seeing everybody. And uh, mm -hmm. hopefully tomorrow, $20,000 our goal. So 20000 Tomorrow. Okay, what did you guys raise last year? Just to kind of ballpark it, if you can remember. Eight. 16.5. Our biggest year so far has been 18. 18. Okay. So we're hoping for 20. Hoping to top it this year. That's incredible. What do you want folks to know that come out tomorrow? Maybe they're just, you know, coming to golf and they don't necessarily know about Angelman syndrome. What do you hope they take away from the event? Uh, really just how close the team of doctors and scientists are mm -hmm. in curing this disorder. Okay. Um, it's been cured in a pig model. Wow. Uh, okay. So there's a lot of research going on. Just where it's a rare disease, a lot of people don't know anything about it. Absolutely. So this is kind of the gateway to other diseases possibly being cured. So this is sort of a great way to raise more awareness for folks who don't necessarily know oh. about it too, right? Absolutely. Okay. Yep. Now, kind of walk us through maybe some of the things that you've noticed on a day-to-day -day basis. Maybe even just how life has changed for you guys. <laughs> well, um, She's obviously very active. <laughs> yeah. She's the, the biggest thing, she's, she's nonverbal. Mm -hmm. um, so we've got to learn how she communicates, and we've right. done a good job at that. And she's done a good job at teaching us. <laughs> uh, she's very happy. She's been smiling <laughs> this entire time. They love honest. water, yeah. and they don't like to sleep. So they don't yeah. like to sleep. Um, that makes things pretty tough, I imagine. Um, yeah. She has balance, um, seizures, okay. um, other things. Um, very happy demeanor, obviously. Yeah. So yeah. she just she's keeps us on our quiet. toes. Absolutely. Harper's very excited to be here too. She is. I wish you guys could see her smile. She is like literally grinning ear to ear, which is incredible here. Can you wave? There we go. Huh? Can, can you wave, wave, Harper? Can you wave? Huh? Can you come by? <laughs> she says no. <laughs> I'm gonna get down, Mom. She sees all kinds of fun stuff. All right, let's go over the details again. So tomorrow, if you want to go, can you actually register at the event? We do. We have okay. a spot for one more team. Oh, good. Uh, we'll okay. have 27 teams out tomorrow. That's uh, incredible. Chick Fil A is bringing breakfast. Texas Roadhouse is bringing lunch. Uh -huh. Centos has provided everyone with a T-shirt. So. Wow. That's a lot right. of fun. So registration and breakfast kicks off at 8 a.m. Tee off is at 9 o'clock if you're interested. And again, it's at Eagle Ridge Golf Course in Louisa. You can find more information. You guys actually have a Facebook page, is that right? We do. It's uh, Harper's Hope uh, 12. Harper's Hope 12. It's got the logo of her Perfect. Uh, foundation. And the website here, too. And we'll post all that for you as well on our WSAZ First Look at Four Facebook page. 
so folks can check it out. Thank you all so much for joining us and sharing your story. We really appreciate it. Absolutely. Thank you. Thank you.